What happens if you stop eating sugar for 14 days? So the question is, what would actually happen to your body if you really gave up sugar? I mean, completely for two weeks? Let's take a look at that. Number 1. You are going to lose your appetite to sugar. Why? Because every time you consume sugar, a hormone comes in there and pushes your blood sugars down, causing a low blood sugar situation, hypoglycemia to some degree, and that is going to cause you to crave sugar. So by getting rid of sugar, you get rid of the craving for sugar. Number 2. You're going to be less hungry. Until you do this, you won't really fully know, but I'm telling you, it's the sugar that keeps you hungry all the time. When you give up the sugar, you become a lot less hungry. Why? Because you stabilize your blood sugars. And now your cells can be actually fed, because when you're living in sugar, because sugar is toxic to the body, the body starts rejecting it. That's called insulin resistance. So the body is blocking insulin because that controls sugar. Number 3. You can have less fatigue, especially after eating a meal. When you're eating sugar on a regular basis. Usually you're going to be tired after you eat, and that is a blood sugar thing. But you're going to find that you're no longer going to be that tired after you eat. It just means that now you're no longer having higher sugar, which basically makes the brain tired. It's normal sugar, and now your brain can be awake. Number 4, you're going to lose excessive water and fat. For the first week, you're going to dump a lot of water and some fat, but after that, it's going to be more and more fat. You're going to be surprised how much fluid you are retaining. Some people within one week can lose about 13 pounds of fluid. They're holding that fluid around, and that can't be that healthy for the heart. Of course, you're going to see your clothes loosening, especially around the midsection. Your gut, your waist is one of the best indicators to tell if you're doing too much sugar. If you reduce the sugar, the stomach shrinks. If you eat the sugar, your stomach will expand. Number 5 Enhanced Mood So if you were grouchy before, you're now going to be a lot calmer, less stressed, and you're going to be actually nice to be around. Also, your cognitive function will improve, so you're going to feel more focused. You're going to have more concentration. You'll be less add more attention to focus on your projects. Before we continue please give time to like and subscribe. It will really give me a big smile. Number 6, your skin is going to look much better. You're going to have less acne. Your skin is going to glow. And that's just a reflection of what happens when you consume sugar. Your insulin goes up and also the hormone androgens, and we're talking about females androgen will go up, and that's going to create acne in a male body. The increased insulin will lower testosterone. So you're going to have other problems that are associated with low testosterone. Number 7, you have less stiffness. So you're going to have less inflammation. You're going to have less pain. So what's happening is all we're doing is we're converting your fuel from sugar to fat. It takes three days of cutting down the carbohydrates and the sugar. By the way, as a side note, if you have a large belly, chances are you have a fatty liver. So by doing this, you will reduce the fat inside your liver. And lastly, you're going to have better kidney function. Take a look at a diabetic. The kidney is the target for problems. When you actually cut down the amount of sugar, reduce the carb, you can improve kidney function greatly. Overview 14 day no sugar challenges are a popular way to cut back on added sugar, and there's no doubt that reducing your intake of added sugar can improve many aspects of your health. However, while participating in a 14 day no sugar challenge may help you reduce your added sugar intake, these programs focus on short term fixes, not sustainable dietary and lifestyle modifications. 14 day no sugar challenges may help some people, but slowly reducing your sugar intake over time and making lasting changes that benefit your long term health may be healthier and more sustainable. Okay that's it guys, feel free to ask questions on comment section. I hope you will have a great day. Please like, share and subscribe. Fino Nurse out.